All right. Time for the spooks. Time for them spooks. Oh, let's see, I think... Yeah, this is my save file. I've got, I've got a lot of save files here because I have played through the game before. So I'm just sticking it all on one save file. Here we go. Okay, where the hell am I? I have to take a moment to figure out where exactly I am in the game. Okay, I've got a statue. That seems to be all I've got. Hmm. Let me go ahead and switch some weapons around. I think I think it's a good time for that. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to trade... Yeah, inventory management. I know. It's always fun. So, yeah, I'm going to give her the pistol. And then on her... I'm going to trade the pump-action shotgun back to the character that I'm playing. Yeah. Alright, so all she's got is the, the pistol. That's, that's it. That's all she needs. So I'm just going to load my shotgun here. And, okay, now for my weapon, yeah, I guess I'm going to stick with this. <laughs> I can use that, or I can I can switch over and use the, uh, the metal bar. Not as good, but it works. Okay, I, I threw something down there. Yeah, the chimney flew. I, I threw something down there. Let me take a look. Hmm. Oh no, wait, I haven't thrown anything down there yet. Uh, we're, we're not at that point yet. Yeah, I, I know where I am now. So uh, we got to do some killing first. Okay, so yeah, if you remember last time, uh, I only made it like... Uh, I made it a little bit past this. But then I got everyone killed. Uh, I lost I lost these two characters, and then I lost another character, and, and it was game over. Right, this is puzzle. Uh, not really a puzzle so much as just, you know, doing the obvious. Okay, we got a little paper here. Uh, does it have any notes, anything important? No. Hmm. Okay, so we found a heavy box. Now, what do you do with the heavy box? Well, you do exactly what makes sense in this situation. And that is, <clears throat> you carry the heavy box into the other room, and then you drop it down the chimney flue. And that cracks it open, and and it's just it's just fun times. So hold on, I, I went to the wrong door. Just gotta slow boat it over here. Okay, let's drop it down. Okay. It fell down. Man, I love it. Like everybody just uh, abandoned ship the moment I uh, the moment I bust out the horror game in October. Everybody abandoned ship. It's great. But I don't know. I like this game, and, you know, it is the season. I should at least try to get a little bit into it. Hold on, hold the fuck on. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. I didn't even have my weapon out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so those things, those gigantic things, uh, they they can pretty much kill you in one hit. It, it's a one-shot kill if they get their hands on you. Uh, well, streamed, um, well, it's not on my end, at least, that's, um, 
I guess that's the best I can say, is that at least it's not on my end. Uh, OBS has been green and good the whole time. <laughs> All right, now I gotta be slow here. The floor, uh, the floor can fall out from under you here if you go too fast. There we go. Yeah, this I love this thing, this this creaky floor. So if you go too fast on the creaky floor, it'll fall out from under you, and you take a ton of damage, and uh, you're just you're just gone. Okay, now, the chimney flu, it's gonna be in the room at the end of the hall- wait a minute! I knew it! So enemies love to respawn on you. They love to just spawn just right, right up on top of you. And they love to respawn in areas that you've already been into, so... Uh, that, that's fun. That's just great. That's good times all around. Also, hey look, it's a giant, um... If you've ever seen the movies, uh, Slither. There you go. <laughs> so, the monster, it's guarding the safe, so I have to kill it. Even though it's, it's not really threatening me very much right now, I have to kill it. So the trick to this is you can't hurt it while it's while it's uh, while its face is shielded. So when it's got its hand up, can't do anything to it. You also can't do anything to it while it's covered in darkness. Um, you have to shine a light on it to remove the darkness, and then on top of that, you also have to kind of trick it into swiping at you. So you have to you have to get close. This is gonna go slow. It's gonna go real slow. Alright. Trick it. Shine the light on it. Trick it again. Oh. This isn't this isn't a fight. This is just this is busy work. I'm very against busy work in games, and that's what this is. Oh wait, hold on, I I got lazy, I got lazy. How much damage did we take? We took a lot of damage. That was a lot of unnecessary damage. So, pop an energy drink and you're all good to go. Caffeine, the solution to all of your problems. Alright, get back, get, get back. Is he, wait, is he badly in, no, he's, he's been, he's good. A bit, all that, uh... Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It's vulnerable. And now it's not. God damn it. I, I missed my opportunity. So I have to have to do this again. It's done. So yeah, these these giant things here, they pretty much serve only one purpose, and that is to keep you from complete, completing objectives. The moment yeah, the moment you see one, you know you have to kill it. A map of the basement. This All must right, be nice. the key to the office. And a key to the office. So yeah, we're getting back to where we were. Um, it's December second, nineteen sixty nine. My name is Alan Gardner. 
and this is my diary. Uh, we've already seen this, but um, I have now counted 26 cases. But if you want it, here it is again. With the school. Strange that the police have never come up with anything about it. Our school was founded in 1902 by twin brothers Herbert and Leonard Friedman. Herbert is still our principal. That would mean he's at least 100 years old. Well, I just found their birth certificates. I love how no one, no one questions that. Like, I mean, there's all this photographic evidence and, and like, hard evidence that the guy's over a hundred years old and, and eternally young, but nobody questions it. Like, if this was the backstory to a World of Darkness story, I'd say it was written very poorly. I found some articles about the Friedman brothers and their experiments. Said to be so original that they went beyond. In 1890, human they went on an expedition to Africa to find medicinal plants. They stayed for six months and brought back a large number of hitherto unknown varieties. One strange specimen, Mortophili, became the basic subject of their research. Photos of disfigured people in his office. I absolutely must find his lab. Underneath the high school, in the basement. I managed to follow him unnoticed through the gardens to the basement of their And this is all information we already know firsthand. Okay, the statues. It's telling us that we need to get the statues. Bear witness to the failed attempts. Prolonged exposure to the sun results in mutation. There's also a big door in one room. I don't know what's behind it, but I think I understand how to open it. There's a mechanism with the little statues. I've seen three of them around the library and uh, one in the garden. Tomorrow I'll go and try to see what's going on behind that door. Okay, then. So, yeah, we need to get to the door out in the, uh, so to the left of the dining hall, that's where we need to go. But first, we need to go to the library, and there's a, there's a couple things we have to get there. A couple statues. Yeah, that... So, okay, here's another thing. If it sounds like the music of this game completely overpowers the the, uh, the voices of the game, that's just built in. That's business as usual. That's how the game rolls. Um, it's just one of those mid-2000s games that has very poor audio mixing by default. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, so... We're here at the dormitory. I've already been in the gymnasium. There's nothing to see there. So we're going to go back this way. Oh, and Kenny, he's got a he's got an ability to run really fast. I'll be making use of that. I I really should make more use of it actually. Okay. Now we got to go to the library. Hmm. Wait, how's my ammo holding out? Uh, my ammo is a little bit light. Uh, I think one of the other characters has a gun. So let me see if I can fetch that gun real quick. Oh, look, he, he runs out of stamina. Look at that. Okay, so you we're going to go talk to... Time. What do we do now? Yeah, we're going to talk to Ashley here. I'm right behind you. I think she's got some more guns. Huh. I could have sworn she had some guns on her. I guess not. So let's trade up uh for Shannon. Okay, I'm right behind you. Yeah, what I need is I need another like just regular gun. But I guess we'll make do for now. Now the library that's where one of them died. Yeah, you see the like the the corpse symbol. That means someone died in there. So yeah, I'm gonna try to pick up the stuff on the body. Maybe he's got a gun. Very dark in here. Okay, the, here's the backpack. So does he have anything? got a flashlight there we go a gun so yeah in the bag there was a gun I will be taking that so now we both got guns yay welcome to America uh, 
Alright, door is right over here. And the secret door. Uh, it's not really secret, but it's a locked door that we couldn't get in before. Guess what? Now we've got the key. Here we are at last. Just wait till I catch up with you, Friedman. Okay, two more statues to go. Alright, there's one statue, and there's gonna be a film reel. That's the other thing we needed. And a key. That's good times. Alright, and a flashlight. Also good times. I believe that's everything in the room. Yeah. So, okay, our objective now. We need to get to the amphitheater. Uh, and something's gonna happen that means we can't go back the way we came. So, real quick, I'm gonna save the game because I, I really should be saving more often. So, save right there. Yeah, Friedman, the, the evil principal of the school, who is evil because, well, he's like 200 years old or something, and, and uh, he doesn't age. Which, again, like, how does no one notice that? It's not like he keeps it a secret. You can look up his, his birth certificate. You can look up, uh, yeah, there's portraits and photos and... I mean, how has no one caught on to this by now? I can't believe no one caught that. Oh, you're still here. Friedman made me his guinea pig. I need to find the antidote. An antidote? There's an antidote? Are you... you're sure of that? I'm absolutely positive. According to Wixen, it's behind some big door. But how do you plan on finding that lamp? A map of the basement. A map? It's a... you're going... Ah! 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 Oh, it's the big one. Hey, and then he just runs off. my map. Yo, bro, Stole that's not cool, bro. <laughs> uh. Okay, can we leave here? It's I don't... possible to open it from this side. Why nope. do you leave it like that? Okay, so yeah, we can't go out the door the way we came in. Uh, we have to go. We have to go up top. So in the library, we're gonna go up the stairs and we're gonna go out. Yeah, gonna go up and out. Now this is where they died last time. Uh, the last time I played, this is where Kenny and uh, and Shannon died. Oh, they see something. Medkit. Can I go in here? Hmm. Oh. Yep, yeah, not going through there. Okay, wait. This is where they died last time. Hurt, don't it? Suck on that. Uh, how much damage? Oh, we took a lot of damage there. Yeah, so this room uh, this very room is where these two died last time. All right. So, good. I, I did good. I did great. I managed to not get them murdered. And we got a new weapon. We got the powerful revolver. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, well, first off, I'm gonna heal up. All right. I'm ready to rock. And I'm gonna take the sticky tape and I'm gonna duct tape a flashlight to a revolver because that that makes perfect sense there we go I could shoot it or I could just leave the area you know I, I don't know is, is there really gonna be anything in there of, of value is there really probably not Oh, look at that. I tried to run past it. Ah, oh, well, didn't take too much damage. Shannon is really hurt, though. 
Let's go ahead and I've yep, never heal up. Better. All right, all right. I might have to go and look in some of these other doors because getting a little bit low on items. Uh, let's see, anything in the lockers? Doesn't look like it. Oh, hey, look. There's a, a big old lock and I've got my pliers. There we go. So, yeah, just for the sake of being thorough, I'm gonna look in these doors. Oh, look, look at that chair. The chair just freak out. Oh wait, a can of monster. Another one. See, it was a good idea to come in here. Hmm, oh, a third can of monster. So we just got three cans of monster. I know it's missing the third the third line, but it is so clearly meant to be a can of monster. It's like they wanted it to be monster, but they couldn't get the licensing. But it's like we've already look, we've already committed to this whole idea of monster energy drink and this monster game. So we got to go ahead with it. That's what I think happened. <laughs> yeah, see, you know when the furniture is happy when they it, it just jumps around so so joyfully. See, what I love about physics in these, like in these early slash mid 2000s games, what I love about the physics is that they just don't make sense. Uh, and it's even better when they make physics a main selling point, like when they put the physics front and center. But then again, you know, I've played a lot of modern games where the physics still go wrong constantly. Hmm, is there something under that chip? No. Oh, there might have been something under there. So we gotta go to the auditorium. Or, uh, amphitheater. So, just crossing the parking lot. Which, you know, a nice big wide open space, you know something's gonna happen there. Alright, so we need to get to the projector. I'm trying to remember where the projector is. Uh... I think we just go, yeah, we just take the stairs. And that looks like a... It looks like there's drag marks there, but uh, I guess not. Hmm. Oh, wait, did I get all the statues? Let's see, I got one, two... I think I might be missing a statue, actually. I, I think... Yeah, I think I might have missed a statue. Um, in which case, I'm going to have to go back in the library. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the reel of film. Where did I put it? Uh, here we go. Reel of film 24. Now, there's something important to note here. Hey, there we go, code 0582. 0582. What a weird movie. And what's that number supposed to be? Uh, the jock isn't so smart. He, n not the smartest, uh, not the, yeah, not, not the, the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay, so first things first, let's put the code in, unlock the door, and then we're gonna have to go back to the library. I know it's infested with monsters that can kill me in one shot, and I might just get someone killed, but um... And I wonder, could we leave now? Uh, look at this! It says, I'll only leave when I have finished with the story. What, what, why would you... 
Look, at this point, I would say, you know what? Just this is this is a case for the police or or the, the government or someone, the, the men in black, I don't know. Uh, at this point, I would just say, fuck it, we're out of here. Two of our friends are dead. Okay, we're going back in the library. I mean, in any horror game, right? In any horror game, or I guess horror movie too, um, there's just a certain point where it's like, why are you still here? You know, I mean, it's like if you ever encounter a haunted house, um, for any reason, uh, if you, if you for any reason ever encounter a haunted house, just turn your ass around and run, okay? Like, if you go in a house and it turns out that, whoops, the house is haunted, just, one more statue to find. just, you know, turn around and run. If the door locks, you fucking kick it down. If the windows are closed, you just jump out the window, alright? There's no reason to stay. But, you know, the then code. it wouldn't, uh... 0588. Oh, hey, look at that. And I've seen that gate before in the northwest part of the school. So, nice. Shannon's special power is she can remember basic information. Awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. So, the, uh, the way we have to go is over on this side of the school. I love this running ability, but it's kind of limited. And he's the only one that can run, so when he runs really fast, Shannon is going to get left behind. She is going to be left behind and just, she's going to get killed. Alright, like, I'm going to run, and I'll be safe, but she's not. <laughs> okay, that goes back down, uh, down into the tunnels. Don't want to go down there. Zero five eight two, and that opens the door. <laughs> yeah, see, you gotta put gotta put those points into fleet of foot. All right, it's a necessary skill. Okay, let's see. How's our health? All right, we're both fully fully healed up. Hmm. Oh, there's a shotgun. Oh crap. Hold on, hold on. Gotta get out of there. Get the fuck out. Move, move ass now. Okay, look look at this giant thing. Look at this fucker. Alright. Apparently, it couldn't quite maneuver into this tight little, you know, tight little space. That's fine. So now that we actually have the ability to look around, you know, take our surroundings in, there's nothing in here, is there? No. That's nice. So yeah, in the woods here, things are going to be leaping out at us constantly. Oh, hey there. Um... Am I gonna play the sequel? Maybe. Uh, let me say this right now about the sequel, like, you know, time out from this. Um, <clears throat> Obscure 2. So, I like Obscure 1. I think it's a good game. I think it's got problems, but I think it's good. Obscure 2 is a whole different beast. Obscure 2... Obscure 2 is not a good game, alright? It looks better. It um, does a few things different. But the game is damn near unplayable at times. Uh, that said, I think it has a really fun atmosphere. It has a really fun vibe to it. Uh, they they really ramp the campiness, like the, the camp factor. They really, uh, they, they rank that up to like, you know, they dial it up to 11, but um, it's just not as fun of a game to play. But I will play it, sure. Uh, I'll totally play it just, just for fun, right?
Okay, how damaged are we? Oh, look at that. Let's uh. pop a monster. Yeah, we're good again. But I'm trying not to play too many uh, horror games this month. Because it's October and everyone... Like, everyone wants to bust out the horror games, but I... I don't want to flood people, you know? I know for a fact that most people you're watching, you know, it's like, you, you've probably been through the gauntlet of horror games and streams and all that, and I, you know, I don't want to put you through that again. So I'm just going to play, uh, you know, a couple games and just one or two spooky games this month. I don't need October to play spooky games, though. Like, I'll play horror games anytime because I like them. I do like the enemy design in this, though. Real good enemy design. It's friggin' cold out here. Alright, there's gonna be another one. Yeah, yeah, there's another one. Uh, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try to break this down. This wall seems pretty weak. Yeah, I'm gonna try to break the wall down instead of fighting it. Run your ass. There we go. So yeah, look, I didn't have to fight the monster. I just uh, just broke the wall down and just got the fuck out. I see something over here. I also hear squishing. Oh my god. Oh god. I really hope Shannon doesn't die. I really hope she doesn't get murdered. Oh, hey, look, there she is. <laughs> so, she didn't... Get, oh, she got busted up. Shannon got hurt real bad. Um, see, I knew that would happen. I knew it. I knew that I'd have Kenny run off and and leave Shannon behind, and she would just stand around getting punched on. I knew that would happen. Oh. It's the house from last night? Oh, hey, it's the creepy murder house. Hmm. Where are we on the map? No idea. That's where. Oh, hey, look. I know where I am. Oh, hey, look, a bunch of bunch of energy drinks over here. Did I get both of them? Yeah. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Are we, like, right next to the school? What is this thing? That's a good question. <laughs> what is it? It's a lever. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, that door... It's like a, it's a shortcut back to the, uh, to the school. That's nice. So, the creepy murder house. I gotta investigate. Again, look. I said this at the beginning of the game. Who the fuck would go down there? Who would go down there, and why? There's no, there's no good reason. At this point, just, just go home. Just, everybody, just, just, just leave. All right, got my pistol ammo. A nice CD-ROM. And wait a minute. That's a lever. Uh, hey, look, that lever-shaped thing that I found. Well, guess where I'm going to use it? It works. <laughs> yeah, see, all you have to do is uh, just, you know, go into the to the creepy haunted murder mansions and you'll get all the free energy drinks you can handle. You know, just, they just leave them laying around. 
right, let's save again. I'm gonna save more often. I I didn't save at all it's for done. a long time, so I've got lots of saves left over, which you know, limited saves. I uh, not a fan. I am not a fan of limited saves. Okay, what's happening here? We're looking straight up at the ceiling. Camera angles. That's another fun thing with this game. Fixed camera angles, so you can never quite see where you're going. But just take it slow. Oh, free stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> see, that's what happens when you don't look where you're going. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, that is what fucking happens when you you're not paying attention. Oh, I hear something big. I can't see it though. There it is. Wait, there's another- Oh, look Look at that! It spawned! That thing spawned right behind me. Oh god. I don't want to take damage here. So, yeah, that- that literally spawned right behind me. Because I know where I came from, and there were no monsters behind me. But the moment I saw that- that one, the other one just spawned straight- just right there, right behind me. And I have a ton of shotgun ammo, so I'm gonna make use of that now. Uh, is there anything in the cage? Uh, no, nothing in the cage. Oh, hold on, he's looking at something. He sees that energy drink, he knows. And first aid, so, okay, we've got lots of healing items, I, I guess... We don't have to panic about healing for a while. Um, I'll save the energy drink for a bit. Where are we going, anyway? I have no idea where I'm going. There's no map. Um, we have no map of this area. Hmm. Okay, can't go down there. Oh, hey, you remember this place? Yeah, this is where the, um, where that student... Yeah, it's where the transforming student was. Let's go down. Yeah, let's, let's see if he's still in there. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, my God. That's him. Yeah, that was the student that we found at the beginning of the game. Look, I just, okay, look, I just noticed the, the graffiti on the wall. So the graffiti on the wall, it says, out of work, don't blame me, I didn't vote. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that, that kid's dead, so let's keep moving. Okay, so we should find Friedman's laboratory. We'll get right on that. Hmm, this looks like a laboratory to me. Oh, man, look at that. Energy drink. Can of monster. And some sticky tape. A and something else? I Kenny's looking at something. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Okay, some information here. So I guess this is his uh, his test subject. So, so yeah, all the missing students at the school, um, all of the missing students were basically kidnapped by the principal and experimented on, and that's where all the monsters come from, basically. Hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, here we can actually see the transformation. For science, I guess, I guess he had to do that, you know, he had to, to see the, the transformation for science, of course, right? Now, there's a pushy thing. Look, whenever there's a pushy thing, I'm like, can, can I push it? Is there a reason to push it? Is there something behind it? No, there isn't. Now, like, wh okay, look, why is there a pushy thing if there's nothing in it? Like, there's, there's no hidden item or anything at all. I, I just feel lied to. Okay, we can go up or we can go over here. Um, what's up here? Okay, this goes... Okay, this is the library, so if you go up, there's a secret... Yeah, okay, so there's a secret trap door that goes into the library. Got it. Ah, oh, hey, Jodiosity. Been a while. How you doing? Uh, I'm just, uh, doing some, some spooky games here. I like Obscure, it's a fun one. Alright, so what's in the door? Well, should I save? Nah, let's be brave. I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? Immediately regret. Okay, I need to find Friedman's lab. So I'm thinking, where do I want to go for that? I know there's a lab around here somewhere. I also know there's a lot of very large, uh, ve oh, very aggressive monsters. There we go. Got tons of shotgun ammo, so I should probably do the shooting. Uh, well, you know, monster came from over there, so... Let's get in there. Oh, door's locked. <laughs> So, yeah, there'll be none of that. There'll be no exploring in that way. Uh, what about over here? There's got to be something I can get into. Nope. So, this was a dead end. This was just a... Just a dead end. There was no reason to be here at all. Hmm. I notice I've got a key. Key to the teacher's room. Did... Did I never use that? Because we're way past that now. Like, we're way beyond that. Hmm. Wait, I've been over here before, haven't I? I know I have. Okay, let's check this place out. I think... I think this is Friedman's lab. I, I think. Hmm. Now we've been here before. Uh, very briefly. This is uh, this is where we encountered the first like uh, I don't know what to call them, but the big the big monsters. The the first big monster uh, ripped out of the the cage here. And that's a door, but I can't go into it. I I don't know why. I guess this isn't the right yeah not the right place. I wonder what does. Uh, I'll check and see what Shannon has to say, because uh, she's always full of hints, full of clues. Uh, she's full of basic information that I should probably already know. But I want to see if I can find it first. Now, this looks like a lab. Alright, this looks like a mad scientist lab, if ever there was one. Like, there's even a lever I can pull, like... I guess I've already pulled it, so... Nothing to see there. Uh, that just goes down. Okay, let me, let me see what the... What does my NPC helper have to say about this? Does she have a... Does she have a good hint for me? She just says we should find Friedman's laboratory. And I guess she didn't get a line of dialogue for that either. Um, well, 
uh, do I keep, I guess maybe I keep going down I would assume the laboratory is real deep in the dungeon hmm wait have I been here before yeah I have okay I know I know where I am uh, that's not where I want to go Uh, this is the fun part of an, like, the fun part of an, you know, more open horror game. The more fun part of it is when you just, you get lost and you have no idea where you're supposed to be going. Okay, he's looking at something. Hmm. Alright, yeah, we've been here before. There's, there's nothing new here. But what about through this door? It's locked. So that door's locked. Um, hmm. Well, now I'm at a loss as to what to do. All my NPC helper says is that I have to find Friedman's lab. Maybe I went the wrong way. I feel like maybe I took a wrong turn somewhere. So let's get out of here and let's kind of... Yeah, let's back up a bit and go back to the spooky haunted mansion. I feel like the spooky haunted mansion is, is probably where we want to be. I mean, not where I want to be, but it's where we're going to go. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait, I hear some squishing. Yeah, there's a monster. I can't see it, but it's there. I can't see what I'm shooting at. <laughs> and then it punches me in the face. Alright, it's dead. Time to heal. Alright. There we go. I'm ready to rock. Yeah, he's good to go. He's all good to go. Uh yeah, the absolute most fun thing of this game is that you just can't see where you're going. There's uh, there's very fixed camera angle, so like right now I'm looking at the camera and I have no idea. I mean a monster could be Literally right in front of me, and I wouldn't know it. I could run straight into a monster Okay, let's get back to that haunted mansion. Oh I took another wrong turn <laughs> Nice. So yeah, I just took uh, another wrong turn and I'm in another place I don't need to be in. So let's go back down this way. Hopefully the monsters don't respond too aggressively because I, man, I would hate to waste all my ammo just killing the same monster over and over. Okay, so yeah, that's the wrong path. Let's get back in there. Uh, I don't think either yeah those aren't the right way and see now I'm forgetting like what where did I come from <laughs> like I'm actually kind of forgetting like which way I came from in the first place uh, I think right here I think this is where I came from Yeah, okay, so I, I came from here. This is the spooky mansion. Um, you take take the stairs up. That goes to the library. That way just goes back into the tunnels. So, okay, we have a choice. Tunnels or the library. Um, would there be anything else in the library? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. There's the statues. So we have four statues that supposedly they unlock something oh, oh wait a minute could it be in his could it be in Friedman's office would he have put the entrance to his lab up here hmm 
Uh, I don't think there's any map clues either. I don't see any clues on the map. Let's take a look around. No, there's there's uh, there's nothing I can like put statues on. So that's not the answer. Let's go back down into the hole. Uh, let's take a look. Did I did I get everything that there is to get over here? I feel like maybe there's more back back this way. Now see, they're looking intently at these papers, but the, the papers don't really tell me anything. Uh, there, there's no specific information, so I don't think that's it. Hmm, there's equipment, but we don't know what it does. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's a second door. I didn't even see that. There's there's a second door. Oh, God, turn around. <laughs> so, okay, this is one of those, um, this is one of those things that could very easily kill me. So, let me just save my game. Yeah, man, this game... This game really loves to, to spawn enemies that can kill you in one hit, like, right in front of your face the moment you open a door. So let me get ready. Alright, I uh, got my shotgun. Uh, hopefully the NPC is ready to fight. Let's do it. Alright, all the darkness on him is gone. Just shoot. Don't stop shooting. <laughs> There we go. Okay, okay. That could have gone bad. So, this looks like a lab. Oh, free, uh, free health kit. And a free monster energy drink. Awesome. Oh, God. Okay, so, there's a stairway going down. Alright, there's a ladder going down. And then there's this thing. So let's see what's in this door. Oh, this is a big room. It's just a nice big open room. Hmm. Wait, are those doors? Yeah, those are like giant blast doors. Uh, so I guess we'll leave that alone for now. This place is gigantic. Wait, are we... Oh, we're back... Okay, so we're back in the tunnels right now. Um, yeah, that door took me back to the tunnels. So it's a shortcut. That is a shortcut to get back outside if we want to go back out. Okay, so we need to find the machinery room to open the big door. And the only way to go is down. Wait a minute, is this a clue? I just, I noticed something real quick. Uh, this. No, I guess it's not a clue. There's like a little sign that says, um, 8842. It looked like a clue, but it's not. So let's go down. So we're now, what, three floors? Oh, oh god. Monsters. <laughs> hmm. Guess that was it. Yeah, so it, it does get just a little bit annoying, the way that this game just pops enemies out at you, like just, just shoots an enemy right in your face the moment you open a door. Just a little annoying. Just a little bit. Ooh, ammo. Uh, pistol ammo. Yeah, just pistol ammo. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, is there anything in the corner? I, I can't really see, so I, I'm going to assume no. Let us continue. Ooh. A room full of machines and a really big monster. Um, I can't get a good look at it. I'm assuming it's the, uh... Oh yeah, it's just that thing. 
You know, just that horrible slither monster. Okay, I I'm guessing this is where I have to put the statues. I don't know the order. So, can I go in here? Yeah, I'm assuming I have to put the statues in the pedestals. But which ones? Why? Wait, there's another big one. I hear a big monster. I don't see it, though. Wait, there it is. Let's just run. Let's just go. Just fucking go. <laughs> oh, hey, we're back. Okay, so that door, it leads back to the prison cells. So we're, we're kind of looping around now. Uh, all the rooms are connecting. Good to know. If we want to get out, we have a way out. Oh, hey, there's a grenade. A light grenade, as a matter of fact. Um, oh, I, I know why they... I know why they're giving us a light grenade. Uh, they're giving us a light grenade? Because I think there's two of them. I think there's two giant monsters. And uh, killing two of them in the same room is very difficult. So I'm gonna pop the light grenade and throw it down at my feet. There we go. That kills both of them. And Shannon just got, uh, it just got punched in the stomach. So I gotta, gotta heal her up. I feel great now. Yeah, she feels awesome. Uh, is Kenny injured? No, Kenny's doing great. So everyone's doing just fine. Uh, the light grenade, man, light grenades, they work. They work real well. So we got what? Two doors? No, only one. Only one door. And some ammunition. So let's check in the door and see what's over there. Man, I really wish I had a map. But that one guy, that uh, that guy in the suit, he, he stole my map and ran away. Oh, items. Hmm. Uh, someone's having fun in there. Alright, so it looks like it's just your average haunted... What, what, haunted prison cell? The music's kicking in, so I guess there's something we should find here. What is this thing? What is it indeed? It's a... It's a lever. Okay. So it's just a very oddly shaped lever. And again, I love the graffiti. I, I love the graffiti there. It just says, don't blame me, I didn't vote. <laughs> All right, let's check the other door. It's locked. The other door is locked. Which way did I come in? Did I ask? Okay, so I don't really have options. Um, yeah, no options. Let's go back the way we came. Hopefully the monsters haven't respawned. Good. So let's work our way on back, because I think we went in the wrong direction. Alright, so there is, yeah, there, there's a puzzle here. Okay, something is missing from the mechanism. I'm assuming it's the statue. Okay, so we're just gonna put all the statues in place. I'm really hoping, I'm re wait, hold on, is it? Well, I can't pick it back up, so I'm assuming that, uh, that we're good. All right, put that statue in place. And then let's go ahead and put the last statue in place. So all the statues are locked in. Can we pick them up? I cannot pick them up. 
So, okay, uh, we've got a bunch of statues locked into pedestals in a giant machine. I don't know what it does. And, oh yeah, there's this giant slither monster over here, so we should probably, uh, probably do something about that. Uh, I might have to kill it before I can actually, uh, progress. So, just trick it into attacking. Oh yeah, take the light off of it. Oh, just get up there. Oh. Okay, I have to go the other way. I'm trying to be real careful so as not to, you know, not to get hurt. They don't want to attack. There we go. Wait, does that... No, that doesn't cause damage. When it uh, when it pounds its fist on the ground, that just kind of throws you off balance. It does not seem to actually hurt you. No, actually, it might. It might just be hurting me a little bit. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I think it's hurting just a little bit, but not much. Uh, I've got so many healing items, I don't, I don't really worry about it. Oh, yeah, we're taking damage. Um, I am actually taking damage from this. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's use that monster energy drink. Heal up. Let's trick it into attacking and throw the light on it. Oh, I hate these things. It, it is the slowest, most clunky and awkward thing ever. And you just waste ammo. Just waste ammo in them. Okay, there's the maggots again. Shooting. Is it dead? No, it's not. I was I was really hoping it would just die, but uh, we're not done here yet. Got to trick it. So yeah, the idea here. Yeah, there we go. Trick it into swiping, and now it's dead. God damn. So, I have to take another monster. Alright, now we're, we're healed up to full. Um, those fights, I, I have to say, the giant slither monsters here, like the big, you know, fat ones, um, they're not fun. They are not fun to deal with. Uh, mostly, it's not that they can hurt you. Because, yeah, it, it, they don't really hurt you. It, it's just, um, I mean, not much anyway. But it's it's that they're so slow to die, so you have to just pump them full of bullets over and over again. Anyway, let's use the lever. It's not doing anything. Why isn't it doing anything? There's there's, there's got to be. I, I see the lever right here. There we go. I just had to had to get around it. So we're gonna use the lever. Oh, cutscene. Okay, so the statues are in place. Oh, it's opening the giant blast doors. So what's inside? Uh, nothing apparently. But I do believe that we're, uh, do believe we're good here. Now I have to try to remember. Uh, let's see, that goes out. No, wait, it's it's the way I came, right? I, again, I don't have a map, and I'm terrible with directions. I I, I can't I, like I can't figure out where I'm going, even if I have a map most of the time. But I think it was back this way, maybe.
No, uh, I think that's going back too far. Okay. Let's go forward. I'm just having a hard time remembering if the, like, the, the big red room with the blast doors, I'm having a hard time remembering if that's forward or backwards. I, I don't know. But hey, look, I've got a character that can run. So if I go the wrong way, I'll have plenty of time to, to uh, catch up. Okay, that's the prison cells. That's not where I want to go. And the other door, that, that just goes back out to the... I'm pretty sure... Like, let me get my bearings again. Uh... Okay, yeah, that leads back to the to the uh, to the to the cells where we got locked in earlier. That's not it. So okay, it was behind me. Um, yeah, the big red room is behind me, not not forward. back up here and I'm not saying like okay I'm not saying that I need glowing trails or waypoints or anything like that uh, that's not what I'm saying uh, what I'm saying is is that I'm terrible with directions and I get lost constantly and easily stop that oh help. here we go You're Cut scene. but it won't do you any good that's the antidote give it to me right now you've been exposed to too much light no Walton stop give me the antidote or I'll shoot You've already started to mutate! Uh, so that's the antidote that we need, huh? Oh, well, looks like the antidote's not gonna do much for him. Well, he just got ragdolled, so, um, you know what that looks like? Yeah, that looks like a final boss to me. Yeah, so here we are. Um, this is it. This is actually the final boss of the game. I know, it, it seems like it came very quick, doesn't it? But, um, I did say this game is not very long. It's not very long at all. Okay, so we got, uh, hey, look at that. There, there was ammo and first aid kits in there. So we got a bunch of healing items and uh, a bunch of ammo. That's nice. That's real nice. And yeah, see, look, the, the character is right over there. So um, this is it. This would be it. So let me go ahead and save the game. Uh, use my save item. It's saved. All right. So the game is saved, and um, this is it. So let's let's see how many tries it takes me before I can actually beat this, right? Leonard, forgive me. I almost found the formula. I almost did it. Oh. So yeah, that's our final boss, huh? Well then, uh, there's a gimmick to this. I, I don't remember it. Let me think. No, I don't remember it, but there's a gimmick. Um, so, okay. Hold on, hold on. The darkness. So, okay, he's gonna shoot darkness out, and we need to, to try not to get hit by it. Okay, hold on, we're, we're taking damage. Let me just... Hold on, hold on, my items, my items! There we go. 
So, yeah, we gotta get the darkness, dispel the darkness with our flashlights, try not to get killed by the darkness, and shoot the tentacle vines. That's, uh, that's the general idea of this. Oh, why, why would he take all that time to load? Oh, badly injured. Okay, hey, look, there goes one of them. There's one of the, the tentacle vines. And hey, look, the light. Oh, come on. Look at that. Look at that. The, the NPC. The goddamn NPC. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, God, oh, God. There we go. So yeah, the NPC, like, they they just, uh, the, the NPC failed me. Alright, hold on, I gotta figure out how I can get past this. <laughs> So I guess I got one character left, so let's do it. <laughs> let's get in there and do it with the last character. Oh man. Come on, don't be slow. Alright, so I gotta figure out how I can get through here. Um, I can't go around that. Wait, unless maybe I can break it? Can I can I break this with my No, that doesn't work. Alright, let me get let me switch weapons. Oh god, I'm hurt. So I'm trying to see what they what are they aiming at? Okay, here we go, here we go. So we can kinda go around here. Okay, okay, we're making progress. We're doing it. <laughs> right, let's try not to get stuck. Yeah, I feel great now. Eh, this, this is a terrible, this is a terrible last boss fight. Reloading, and there's only one more tentacle vine left. Let's get over there. So, yeah, just avoiding the darkness, trying not to get smacked by the tentacles. Okay, there we go. We did it. Yay. Game overs. And there's only one, only one teenager managed to survive. So yeah, that's it. I know, it's a quick game, right? Yeah, so hey, look, we're back in the uh, the gymnasium where we started the game, and we're gonna take that antidote because if we don't, we're gonna turn into monsters. So yeah, Ashley, the lone survivor. Uh oh, it's the end, or is it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> you know it. Hold on. Oh, god damn it. It's a lot of damage. Oh. Alright. Uh, I 
At this point, I would say, just shoot. Just fucking shoot. I think I might actually die here. I, yeah, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. But hey, look, the boss is dead too. So yeah, sunlight. I mean, fortunately, they're they're weak to sunlight, and it's it's broad day now. So. And that's how it ends. So, yeah, here's my ending. I, I didn't die! Look at that. I managed to kill it right as I died. Awesome. So here's my ending. Uh, I got all of the teenagers killed. Every single one of them, except for Ashley. And here, we, yeah, here's the memorial for the victims of Leafmore. Huh. And uh, that's 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 the end there. So yeah, I mean, not the best of endings, but hey, look, I beat the game. I got every single teenager killed but one, so we had we had a last girl scenario there, okay? And also, okay, spoiler, okay? So time for a little bit of a spoiler for the second game. So in the second game, um, in the second game, uh, they pretty much assume that like everyone's still alive. Uh, well, not everyone. Uh, yeah, like Kenny is alive. Uh, what's the other guy? Stan and uh, Shannon. So Kenny, Stan, and Shannon. Uh, they all live, but presumably in the second game, Ashley died and Josh died. So yeah, my ending is not canon. Anyhow, uh, my thoughts on this game. So, I really like the first Obscure. It's very short. Okay, I, I think that the length of the game is actually a good thing. I think that, uh, like, this game at its heart, it's only, um, I mean, it really only takes, like, maybe uh, three hours to run through this game. And that's, like, that's if you're, n that's not even speed running. That's just... Like, just if you're playing the game, you know, if you play through the game and you semi-know what you're doing and you don't get lost, uh, it, this is really like a three-hour game. It's very short, but there is extra content, all right? There's actually a lot of extra content uh, and optional things you can do, and I didn't do any of that. And there's even, like, a new game plus. There, there's all kinds of other stuff going on. But um, the, the actual core game itself is very short. But, like I said, I think that works to its advantage. So we're just gonna not save. And yeah, here's all the extras that you can unlock. So you get like a new weapon, you get a laser gun, uh, you get alternative costumes, all that fun stuff. 